हेलो बच्चो हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड नाउ सी अवर नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट अवर टॉपिक वी आर कंटिन्यू ओके वॉट एवर कंटेंट ऑफ अवर टॉपिक इन दैट एसिड बेसिस एंड सॉल्ट ओके सो एसिड बेसिस एंड सॉल्ट वी कंप्लीटेड ऑल थेरीज ओके सो नाउ वी आर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड ओके सो दैट पॉइंट वॉट एवर वी आर डिस्कसिंग नाउ ओके Preparations of acids. What be the preparations of acids? So basically, uh, so many methods, different different methods of preparation of acids. Okay. So uh, simple simple methods also there. Okay. In that we will discuss uh, first by by direct combination by direct combination. Okay. By direct combination method, okay. Or we can say what synthesis by direct synthesis, okay. So see here what will happen. Generally, see H two gaseous plus Br two gaseous. So it gives what simple. You will get acid. HBr only means basically this method direct combinations. It is basically what for binary acids. Okay, binary means two. What are elements are two, one and two. Okay, hydrogen B and B R. Okay, so see here H two gaseous plus Cl two gaseous. Okay, so what you will get? Yes, HCl. Okay, so whatever you will get is in what with a in liquid form. Okay, these are what here. <coughs> yes, these are what. Direct combination method. So uh, for balancing, so see here two H two Br two. So like that uh, we can balance. Understood? This what direct uh, direct combination or we can say synthesis. Okay. Now we will see our next uh, method. First we saw by direct combination. Now second by double displacement. Okay. Second by double displacement okay so in double displacement what will happen so as you know so many examples beta so see here you are nacl plus h2so4 okay nacl plus h2so4 so here what will happen see here what will happen nacl plus h2so4 beta here we are preparing what hcl so as you know wherever necessary where uh, wherever possible we we will breaking okay we will break that so na plus cl minus here h plus so4 to minus so what will happen here na2 so4 plus hcl got my point here so for balancing take here to okay here also to understood so these are what preparation of acids from double displacement method or by double displacement method okay so whatever now next we will discuss or third okay with the help of <coughs> acidic oxide okay with the help of acidic oxide also we are preparing your acid okay so see here whatever third so in that third by okay by the reaction by the reaction of acidic oxide by the reaction of acidic oxide with with water so you are ready whatever your acidic uh, oxide so see here beta acidic oxide yes so three gases plus h2 plus h2 what you will get Oxide, acidic oxide plus H2. So here simply you will get yes H2SO4. Understood. And suppose uh, if you take uh, CO2 gases, what beta here? CO2 gases plus H2. What you will get? Yes H2CO3. You will get. Means here you will get beta sulfuric acid. Yes. Sulfuric acid here you will get. And here what beta? Yes, carbonic acid will get. Means uh, these are uh, few methods of what preparation of acid by direct. Then uh, we saw 
our uh, whatever next with the help of displacement now what with the help of acidic oxide we can prepare so basically uh, these are what acidic oxide means what we are saying these are anhydrides okay whatever this suppose the so three these are what is acidic oxide yes uh, what we call this as a acidic oxide but we call these as a anhydride also what beta anhydride so this uh, whatever this uh, uh, word is new for you beta anhydride anhydride means say suppose uh, uh, h2 so for so if uh, by mistakely if uh, Uh, whatever fumes, okay, indirectly went in our mouth. So what will happen, beta? In that, okay, whatever H two so four, whatever uh, water content from this, okay, so water content it will take out immediately. So immediately in Marathi we call it as the what thaska, okay. We, which uh, is applied to kind of like it thaska, okay. So whatever means water content from this throat. So immediately take off that issue so for fumes. So anhydride means anhydride means what? Yes, removal of water. So from beta H two so for if you remove water, so what will you will get? You will get SO three. Okay. So we call it as what? Anhydride also. Okay. Anhydride of sulfuric acid. Anhydride of carbonic acid. Okay. So understood whatever these uh, preparations, simple simple method here. Okay, now we will uh, discuss here next one that is properties of acids. Okay, you are ready with that properties of acid. So see here in uh, properties. Okay, properties of acids. So mostly either your acids are what. ये सॉलिड सॉलिड एसिड साइन समोन व्हाट बेटा लिक्विड एसिड सो वी विल व्हाट एवर फर्स्ट ईयर फिजिकल स्टेट वी विल डिस्कस हियर ओके फिजिकल स्टेट ऑफ एसिड ओके मोस्ट ऑफ द योर एसिड्स आर सॉलिड साइन लिक्विड एसिड्स ओके सो वी विल कंसंट्रेट वी विल सी हियर सम एग्जांपल ओके सो एसिड एंड देयर फिजिकल स्टेट Acids and here what beta physical state. So we will compare here some acids. Okay, you are ready with this. So see first. Okay, first here beta yes boric acid. Okay, boric acid as you know it's three BO three. It's three BO three boric acid. Okay. So next uh, see oxalic acid. Oxalic acid is what H two C two O four. I am giving here molecular formula also because it will help for your higher standard. Okay, oxalic acid. Then your what, beta? Tartaric acid. Okay, tartaric acid having a formula C four C four H six O six. Yes, yeah, these are what, beta? Molecular formula. They have a structures also. Okay. So first uh, we will concentrate on whichever acids or solids. Okay. So these are what beta solid acids. What beta here? Solid acids. Okay. One of the another also acid citric acid. Yes, citric acid. So C C six C six H eight O seven. Their molecular formula. Okay. So these are what beta. All these are so. All these are what solid. Physical state is what beta here solid. Okay. Now we will uh, move towards in that uh, your phosphoric acid also solid. Okay. Whatever H three PO four is also your solid. Okay. So we will discuss here some uh, whatever your liquid acids. So liquid acid also there. So liquid acids uh, as you know. In that, uh, suppose uh, if we are going to discuss here liquid acids, so say liquid acids first, yes, acetic acid. Okay, as you know this. Second, your uh, sulfuric acid H two SO four. 
देन वॉट बेटा ये नाइट्रिक एसिड एच ओ नो थ्री ओके दीज आर वॉट बेटा योर लिक्विड एसिड देन एच सी एल ऑल्सो देर ओके दीज आर वॉट सिंपल युअर वॉट एवर फिजिकल स्टेट ऑफ युअर एसिड्स और वी कैन से वॉट इन दर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एसिड वी आर डिस्कसिंग दिस स्मॉल पॉइंट एज अ फिजिकल स्टेट ओके विथ एक्साम्पल वी सॉ ओके नाउ वी विल डिस्कस यूर हाउ नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी वॉट एवर यूर एसिड्स दिच दि चेंजेस कलर विथ इंडिकेटर्स ओके वॉट एवर सेकेंड प्रॉपर्टी एसिड्स चेंजेस कलर विथ ये विथ इंडिकेटर्स so basically whatever this indicator so indicate means what indicate which color acids they are giving okay indicating that color so we call it as what indicators it means we can easily observe whether it is uh, acid is present in that solution or not or so uh, or something any any else uh, present in okay whatever in solution other acid basic okay so basically your uh, indicators are the what complex uh, substances okay so see here they acquire different colors okay in acidic or uh, basic medium whatever your uh, indicators they are they acquire what different colors in acidic and basic medium okay so whatever what purpose of these indicators whether that solution is acidic or basic okay so with the color uh, we can easily observe so we will uh, discuss uh, some here so see indicators beta okay and color change in acidic medium okay color change in acidic medium okay so see here how we can uh, see this so that uh, in practical uh, one uh, special video i will make okay for your this how they will change on adding acids and base with indicators okay so we will see first beta litmus solution litmus solution so how it will change yes it will change what blue to red yes blue to red so here we are discussing uh, simple property so next beta methyl orange so in methyl orange so basically uh, original color is not orange so in acidic medium it changes what orange to red okay third one we will discuss yes third one is what beta phenol phthalene yes phenol phthalene so in phenol phthalene your color remains same okay remain same unchanged or we can say what colorless in acidic medium in what beta in acidic medium understood so these are very much important uh, here whatever means your uh, whatever your acid that changes color okay changes the color with uh, indicators okay so these are few examples uh, i will make here one separate video for this uh, how uh, different different acids they are changing uh, color in acidic as well as in basic solution okay so we will move towards next so as you know beta whatever your acids so acids are what yes acids your good electrolytes okay whatever your acids these are what acids are good electrolytes so beta electrolytes when it is possible to show this property electrolytes so yes so beta presence of okay what beta presence of free ions in your acids then only it conducts what electricity okay so so many examples uh, as you know in car batteries uh, lead storage battery still so for is present okay so uh, next we will discuss so what are property beta 
acids are corrosive corrosive in nature acids are what beta corrosive in nature so it is also one of the property of your acid okay so whatever we discuss property so these all are important okay so you revise that property now we will discuss yes now we will discuss beta chemical property yes chemical properties properties of acids okay so here very much uh, interesting to know this uh, in small a we will discuss chemical properties of acids so acids okay so reaction with active metals how it behaves okay the reaction reaction with yes active metals okay so reaction with active metals as you know beta or uh, whatever your acids evolve h2 if they will react with what active metals okay in uh, uh, electrochemical series sorry in reactivity series or uh, activity series so whatever i saw or there i told electrochemical series it is in 12th standard electrochemical series okay sorry for that so whatever we discuss in reactivity series or activity series okay are you remembering that all kb nath ka mali and all okay so it is very much important so what i told here acids evolve to gas easily with a with active metals like uh, sodium potassium uh, iron also okay so we will uh, discuss that also but beta here one of the interesting uh, whatever this term okay so see here whatever interesting term dilute dilute hno3 okay is a strong strong what oxidizing agent due to due to released h2 gas gets gets converted into h2o okay converted into what beta h2o so here simply means uh, we are saying what we are saying okay all uh, whatever acids it reacts with uh, active metals but when beta dilute hno3 it will react so it will not reacts with your metal okay so what will happen basically because dilute hno3 is what strong oxidizing agent and whatever release h2 so obviously it will release h2 when a uh, metal reacts with acid it will release h2 but in case of dilute hno3 one of the exceptional case uh, we can say okay what will happen dilute hno3 it will oxidize okay oxidation will occur so become whatever h2 gas release in that reaction it will convert into h2 okay so for zinc plus hno3 so if you saw it uh, in that zinc plus uh, nitric acid it will never release h2 it will what zinc nitride h2 and no2 it will okay so like that one of the in uh, this same reaction we will uh, we uh, we discuss in metals and non metals also okay so please pay attention okay then immediately you correlate comparatively study always uh, helpful okay so see here reaction with active metals so see this metal plus your h2so4 so what you will get yes feso4 plus h2 gas okay it will evolve easily here suppose here zn means uh, what what we conclude here generally what are hcl and h2so4 we can use not a nitric acid because your nitric acid is what strong oxidizing agent so keep in mind okay so zn plus hcl suppose if you if you have to write this so what will get beta zn cl2 plus h2 gas so 2 hcl yes our reaction is balanced okay so we will uh, move towards uh, next in that chemical properties of acids okay i hope you understood 
all. Now see here. So uh, whatever one uh, special here uh, point I have, uh, I am going to discuss here. Okay. So we call it as a note also important note. Or uh, we will perform this in our lab also. Okay. See here uh, what will happen, beta. Okay. First, if you have lime water, lime water is what beta? Calcium hydroxide. So see here, this calcium hydroxide, okay, aqueous form. When, okay, if you pass beta here, CO2 gas. So obviously, what will happen? You will get here precipitation of CaCO3 plus what beta H2. So here, here you will get what beta? Solid. Here precipitate. White precipitate you will get. Okay. And as you know that white precipitate is what? Always insoluble. Okay. Understood? So here one of the means uh, so many questions uh, asked on this uh, whatever contain. Calcium hydroxide plus if you pass CO2 gas, so you will get a white precipitate of calcium carbonate and if we further if you further pass calcium sorry if you further pass CO2 gas okay so see here CaCO3 solid plus H2 okay so that as you know that H2 is in what beta liquid plus CO2 means excess of CO2 gas if we pass so what you will get? Yes, you will get calcium hydrogen carbonate. What you will get? Calcium. Okay. Calcium hydrogen carbonate. Or calcium hydrogen carbonate. Calcium bicarbonate. This word with HCO3 is bicarbonate ion here. Calcium or we can write here. Okay, so see here. Or we can write calcium bicarbonate. Understood? So whatever if you pass CO2 gas, so whatever that precipitate, whatever your that precipitate is, slowly disappear. Okay, slowly what will happen, beta? This appear okay. So it is one of the important here. Most of the import, most of the uh, time, they ask question on this concept. Okay, calcium hydroxide. If you pass CO2, then calcium carbonate precipitate. And further, if you pass CO2 gas, excess passing, then what we will get? That precipitate will disappear. Okay. So keep in mind all this. Okay. Now we will discuss in chemical properties of acids. So we will discuss some reactions. Reaction with the metal oxide with acids. Okay. See here. Reaction with reactions of acids with yes with metal oxides with metal oxides so generally if you are uh, generally if you are writing so metal oxide plus acid metal oxide plus acid yes what you will get you will get beta salt plus water what salt plus water you will get okay so see calcium oxide plus HNO3 so what you will get yes positive negative valency they will attract and forming a new formula yes so see new stable compound calcium nitrate plus what beta water only so for balancing, yes, for balancing here you have to write here too. Two, three, the six, yes, hydrogen also balance. Understood. So these are what beta? 
metal oxide with acid now suppose if you are taking cuo solid plus h2so4 so what you will get immediately you will get what cuso4 plus h2 aqueous aqueous okay so metal oxide uh, reacts with acid like a similar as you know uh, similar to reaction with uh, base uh, okay whatever your base reacts with acid so base reacts with acid what you will get salt means uh, uh, we call it the what neutralization reaction okay what we call beta here uh, neutralization reaction okay means it was similar product you will get salt plus water nh plus cl you will get what nsl plus water so salt plus water you will get okay so we will move towards uh, next reactions okay so say uh, what we have to discuss here reaction with metal bisulfites and sulfites second uh, we will discuss reactions of yes reactions of acids with metal bisulfites and metal sulfides so for that you must know what is a bisulfite and sulfide bisulfide and sulfide okay so sulfide is yes, so3 to minus and bisulfide is what h so3 minus only so you have to concentrate is this much no sulfides and sulfides bisulfides and sulfide so we will take here uh, one example okay so see here uh, that example first we will write general reaction so see how it is your general reaction beta metal sulfide by sulfide plus acid you will get what yes you will get salt of that plus so2 gas plus water you will get understood so you have to keep in mind this okay you have to keep in mind metal sulfide and bisulfide you will get what we so to get obviously so to get uh, will uh, release okay suppose if you are considering one example calcium sulfide so beta calcium sulfide plus uh, acid if you take uh, one acid is cl if you take so as you know which salt you will get yes cl cl2 plus so2 gas will release plus what beta h2o so for balancing take here two yes our reaction is balance okay so like that simple simple here reaction but you must know here whatever formula is chemical formula is of that all your anion part cation part okay suppose here uh, we will take one example of bisulfite also so see here sodium nhco3 i already told the uh, chemical formula of that hso3 minus so plus hcl so what you will get yes here you will get salt plus plus what yes so2 gas plus h2o liquid so see whether it is balanced or not yes our reaction is balanced completely okay so these are what reaction with reaction with sulfide bisulfide plus acid okay so we will uh, discuss our next in that chemical uh, properties with uh, acids okay so reaction with metal sulfides and bisulfides 
reaction with metal sulfides and what metal by sulfides okay metal sulfides and by sulfides so beta here uh, general reaction if you are writing so see here how we can write general reaction sulfide by sulfides so you must know here sulfides means what yes yes to minus by sulfide hs minus this much you know okay in chemistry you must know everything whatever formula chemical formula is atomic number and all these are basic requirement to study chemistry okay so see here sulfides by sulfides okay see the pronunciation sulfides by sulfides d s t s but huge difference in their chemical formulas okay so see here what you will get so we will write uh, beta here general reaction metal sulfide by sulfide plus yes plus acid what you will get yes you will get what here salt you will get plus hydrogen sulfide gas what you will get beta hydrogen sulfide gas or we call it as the what h2s gas okay so we will uh, take here example you are ready with example you make box for immediate highlighting okay so whatever if you must know the general reaction also then you can write easily whatever reaction okay so for that i am uh, doing your box also to easy to locate that easy to remember everything okay so see here metal sulfides so zn s plus suppose if you take hcl or h2 suppose any if you take hcl so what uh, you will get here yes zn cl2 plus what h2 is for balancing take two Two hydrogen, two hydrogen, two Cl, two Cl. Other all are balance. Hydrogen sulfide gas here evolved. Suppose if you uh, write here FeS, FeS plus. Okay. So see here FeS plus H2SO4. So beta, what you will get? Yes, you will get here FeSO4 plus H2S. And suppose if you are thinking for bisulfide, so see here, yes, NaHs, NaHs bisulfide plus plus HCl. So beta, what you will get? Yes, NaCl plus H2S gas. So these are what reaction with. what beta here reaction with sulfides by sulfides okay i hope you understood all whatever uh, we taught in today's lecture okay so whatever next thing we will discuss in next lecture okay so remove your notes send uh, whatever doubts on whatsapp okay so thank you stay safe stay home thank you